Hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 252, maximum number of weeks for which you can work. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like these contests. Uh, I, Me and <laughs> so a lot of uh, smart people usually join the Discord to kind of talk about the contest right afterwards. So if you're into that, if you're looking for buddies, um, join the Discord, come hang out. Uh, okay, so for this one, I actually spent quite a bit of time, especially compared to other people. But this was a really tricky one. I think this is not going to be an interview question, if that's some, you know, just to get that out of the way. Because this is more of a code force problem. And if it's a code force problem, I think it's a eh, maybe like a diff 2B or maybe diff 2C, but a way you usually see. Um, because this is a logic problem. Maybe you call it greedy, maybe logic. This is a really awkward problem, really weird problem. Uh, and you just have to kind of um, just believe in yourself, I suppose. During, during my virtual contest, I definitely YOLO'd a little bit. I thought, I, I thought about things until I cannot think anymore, and I just kind of submit, hoping that you know the proof by AC is the is sometimes that I use and abuse too much in code force. Um, but that said, code by AC only works if you have a lot of experience and a lot of practice, because one, because you know, on a subconscious level, if you've done more problems, you'll see patterns and think about it, even if it's not on a conscious level or not on a level that you can prove per se mathematically. But that's okay. I'll try my best to explain this. But this is one of those things where knowing the answer, you can explain it a little bit easier um, because you're like, ah, oh, I know the answer, so it's easy to explain. But to be honest, it, it was a little bit tricky to come up with it. So, and I think as because this is a virtual contest, I am more articulate about my thoughts as I'm doing them during the contest. So, you know, after my explanation, feel free to keep watching how I kind of progress to the solution. This is kind of an awkward one and a weird problem in general. But but the way that I initially thought about is, okay, um, what is the, like I was thinking about greedy solutions and the most greedy one I thought would be to um, do some kind of queue or a binary, or not a queue, well, a queue, but a priority queue, right? A heap where, you know, you take the two max milestones uh, and then kind of do them like consecutively right um i actually don't even know that i think that would work um but or that that works in theory and i think that's a easy ish greedy however each milestone is 10 to the 9 so that so from that i knew that that wasn't really good enough um and then i just kind of ran through a lot of scenarios of, of um, the thing that I focused on is the max milestone because I think eventually, and you could see this while I'm doing this live, but if you have a lot of, you know, let's just say you have 10, 10, 10, 10, or something like that, right? Well, you know, the, the easiest way is just to interleave them one at a time, right? So you could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a perfect interleaving. And and in that sense, um, you know, that's how I get to, um, if the max number is a certain way. So so from that, I'm trying to think, of, okay, how how skewed can it be? How uneven can it be, right? What if this was 15 and this is five? Well, in this case, I would start with the 15 and then do, you know, I, I played around a lot in my head um, how to figure it out um, and thinking about whether this would work. And in this case, I was, was work. So I thought to myself, okay, what if this was very skewed, right? And this kind of uh, is in one of the examples as well. But let's say you have, mm, I don't know, 40, 10, 10. Well, what does this mean? That means that here, well, the optimal thing is just, you know, it combine the rest of them, say. So now this is 20. And then here, the optimal strategy would be to take the, the number that's more than half, um, interleave them, and then add the last one for the big number for the last one. So that's kind of my strategy about thinking about this. Um, I don't know if this is a good strategy or when I submitted it, to be honest, I did not, I mean, I thought it was a good idea and I couldn't figure out a counter case. I did spend some time trying to, you know, reason around it. But when I couldn't, I just kind of YOLO'd a little bit, to be honest. So, um, yeah. And the way that I did it is actually end log n because I did a sort, but you actually don't need a sort. You can actually just do a linear uh, to get the max. And this this thing would still be true. So there's a linear time over one solution. Um, I did it on n log n because I sorted it. But imagine you just have to max and then cover this instead. Um, because as you can see, I only used the max anyway. Everything else is a total. So you can do this in linear time, constant space. 
Um, and the thing that I did was that, okay, if the biggest component is less than half, uh, half or less, then you can just do interleaving, right? Because you can effectively combine all the, you know, you can interleave in a way such that you get all every, every task done. Otherwise, we do the thing where we get the total, we subtract it from the max. Uh, so this is basically um, what we talked about, right? We combine the rest of the task into one mega task, if you will, and then you just interleave them two by two, and then you add one for the for the big task, if you want to call it that, um, to get this answer. Uh, yeah, so, so if you do it correctly, this is going to be linear time, constant space. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did, uh, and maybe the different funky solutions. Um, did you struggle? Did you do well? Let me know. Uh, anyway, you could watch me start the live in the contest next, and as a virtual contest, I was more articulate than usual, so let me know. Uh, okay, see ya. Uh, I was trying to be too clever. Okay, Q2. Say what? N projects. What are the milestones be? One milestone, one point. Let's work every week. Same project for every two consecutive weeks. Okay. Well. You, maximum weeks. Okay. Uh, this is a weird problem. Uh, let's see. N is 10 to the fifth. Milestone is 10 to the ninth. So we have to do something smarter. Um, I feel like I've seen a variation of this problem. I don't quite remember what the solution is, so maybe that's a, it's like a weird greedy, I think, but with a heap or something like that, every week of a, hmm. Huh. Yeah, this is, the, I mean, you can obviously just do, um, I think the answer is something funky, like the biggest number times two or something like that. Um, hmm. Or the second biggest number, maybe? Like, how does this get? So this is three, five. This is... Hmm. Okay, is that all the edge cases? So, so max is because you can pair, always pair with a vertical, and all, it's always optimal to pair the max. So that means that is n over two, so it's max. And I'm trying to think about the odd number where it goes over by one. So, am I even right? I don't even know. This is such a weird, greedy problem. Um, so if there's exactly nine for five, I guess that's okay. If this is 11. Five, ten, I guess that's okay too. Is that right? Is that true? No, I think that should be eleven then, right? We have five five one or something like that. You know, if it's five five one it should be eleven. So I think that my math is a little bit wrong. Or well, even if I have someone like five five five, what's the answer here, right? The answer is not because my my algorithm will give you ten, but eleven is at least the answer. It might not, or well, this actually is 15, but huh, this is a weird problem. I don't know if I know how to do this one. Is it, uh, uh, there's a lot of numbers, though. I mean, some sort of greedy. I'm trying to think what makes sense in terms of greedy. Well, if it's a lot of ones, or if it's a lot of twos, so if it's a lot of numbers, so it must have something to do with the max number, right? So if the max number is more than half, what happens? If something like this, then it's actually, um, so if it's even, it's good. If it's distorted, then it's at most 
uh, max over one or something like that. Max times two plus one is the no. If what is what am I thinking about? Hmm. Like in this case, what happens if it dominates? If one number is bigger than half of them. Okay, so if, if the number is less than half, then you could do it for every number or the entire thing. If it's one number is more than half, then it's half is uh, the uneven part minus the max. Is this right? I feel like I'm like just guessing here to be honest. But let's do it. Um, maybe a little bit yellow on this one uh, so if the biggest number if the biggest number is bigger than half right so if this times two is greater than total what if it's equal if it's equal it's still be total um, okay so if this is less than, or you got the total, then we return total. Otherwise, then it is the total minus milestones minus one. It's this thing times two plus one, maybe. But I think I'm, I'm trying to justify the plus one. Well, if it's more than half, then you always start with that one and then do the other one. Okay, let's give it a YOLO. I actually don't know if this is right at all. So. Uh, let's at least make sure this is right. Okay. Okay. Hmm, what a weird problem. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, other problems, whatever you need to do. I'll see you later. To Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.